Okay, this is Marin Contractor again. Today is April the 11th, 2017. Here's the article last. Sarin gas found in bodies of Syria attack victims. You have to pay attention to this, folks. Let's, let's go ahead and read this. Test results have confirmed that sarin gas, a colorless, odorless liquid nerve agent, was used in the horror attack on a northern Syrian town earlier this month. The results were announced by Turkey Health Minister as Russia said the Syrian government was willing to let international experts examine its military base for signs of chemical weapons. Colonel General Sergei Ruskoy of the Russian General Staff said his country provides security for international inspectors who want to examine Syrian bases and that Damascus has agreed to allow the inspections. I'm glad they're doing this. Uh, they're probably scrambling right now to hide their chemical weapons inside Syria. You know, there's to be a delay. Who knows what time the inspectors or how long it's going to take for the inspectors to get there in country. They're probably scrambling right now. You know, uh-oh, we got to have these inspectors in here. So we're going to have to hide these chemical weapons wherever they're at. Uh, his comments came shortly after the Russian President Vladimir Putin said Moscow would appeal to the United Nations to investigate the attack on Khan uh, Sheikh Houn, the chemical weapons attack on the rebel held town in Id Idlib province on April 4th killed nearly 90 people. The United States blamed Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government and launched nearly 60, actually it was 59, cruise missiles on Friday targeting the Shirat, Shirat Air Base in the central province of Homs from where it claims the attack originated. Moscow, which is a strong backer of the government, Syrian government, has dismissed suggestions that Damascus could be, could be behind the attack. The Syrian government also denied the allegations, saying its air force bombed a rebel arsenal that had chemical weapons stored inside. Putin told reporters yesterday that the Russian would appeal to the UN agency in The Hague, urging it to launch an official probe. He also said Moscow ha has received intelligence about planned provocations using chemical weapons that would be used to pin the blame on the Syrian government. So basically they did the tests on the bodies of these victims and they found evidence of sarin gash, a nerve agent. So there's, you know, it's a, this is a big uh, discovery. So let's just see what happens. What the Russians do next. I mean, they already said they're not going to shoot down our missiles if they go into Syria. First, they said they're going to shoot them down. They acted really tough and really tough, right? And then the next day, they back down. They know the technology of the United States. They don't have it yet as far as the Russian military. They wish they had the same technology in the United States, but they just don't, folks. It's just the facts. They don't. Um, and we'll just see what happens in the next few days. There'll be more videos coming up. I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, please like and share my video. Join my YouTube channel, share the YouTube channel, tell your friends, share it on Facebook, go to, go to your Twitter account and put this on there. But sarin gas found in bodies of Syria attack victims is a big deal. I'm sorry this happened, but you know, we, we got to do something about this. It's going on seven years, folks, seven years in this war in Syria, and it's got to end sometime. This is the American contractor and thank you for listening.